What's up guys, it's Doug and wanted to continue on with the little build here. Like we said, we're gonna try to catch all the nitpicky stuff and this is going slow because we're anal about stuff and we take our time. Uh, we found that's the best way to avoid mistakes and even then you'll have plenty of them. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and set all six of the top rings inside the block. We've used our tool to make sure that they're level in there and we've gone through and we've checked the clearances. Now for this top ring, the clearance was between 14 and 23 out of the quick serve. Uh, and we were shooting for 18. This is a set of Hastings uh, piston rings. And we got lucky. So the gap on all of them was very close to 18 thousandths right out of the box. And rather than file them, we used a trick that our machina shared with us um, so what I did is I came in here and I would just swap rings between cylinders because there's minute variations between the cylinders and the pistons and, and everything. So we came in here and we swapped them around and until we got the exact fit that we were looking for. And we were able to get 18 thousandths across the board with number one and six, and I did this on purpose. So one and six being a little bit looser because they tend to be a little bit hotter, uh, you know, just air travel, the way it travels. Now, if you were using a side draft intake, then that's probably a different story. Anyway, so we were able to achieve what we wanted on this top ring without having to do any grinding. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody out there uh, just, you know, swap them around if they don't fit exactly right because you might get what you're looking for without having to go ahead and do any modification of the ring. All right, hope you guys are having a great day, and we will talk to you on the next little segment.